Hi, we're Dear Reader from South Africa, and check us out on intro.de. This is very South African. Uh, we've had this discussion before in South Africa, and basically there's this talk show host who's really, really crap, um, and her name is Nolene. <laughs> and we were, we were discussing at university the one day who we would build a memorial to, and people were like Nelson Mandela, or like, you know, some of the apartheid activists, and blah, blah, and one of my friends stood up and he was like, I'd build a memorial to Nolene. She's like the fake Oprah, kind of. <laughs> The Eastern Cape in South Africa will, will win, I think so. The Highlands in Scotland. It's exactly like in the movies. My studio. My studio is so but ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Gump. It's really <laughs> sad. I don't cry a lot for songs, but anything by the album Leaf and um, Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. A TV program called Maya the Bee. <laughs> I don't know what makes me cry now. I cry quite easily. I can cry in Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I just cry. <laughs> and in terms of songs that make me cry, you get that funny feeling in your tummy when it's like really affecting you. And the most recent song to do that is a song by a band from Oklahoma called The Ugly Suit. And I don't know the name of the song, but it's number four. <laughs> on their album, so. Do you cry, Daryl? Yes, I do. Really? Yeah. We've never seen Daryl cry. <laughs> Any movie by Leon Schuster. Oh. <laughs> oh. Leon Schuster's a very, very dodgy South African comedian who makes very slapstick movies, so. Not the good kind of cry. <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I always laugh at Regina Spector. She's really fun. What's that song? About this uh, businessman and then he goes away and when he comes back his children have grown and he never made his wife moan. It's pretty funny. Monty Python, any of the Monty Pythons, really funny. And song that makes me laugh um, is a punk band called Bracket. And they sing a song about how when you get drunk, your pants fall down and the room spins. And it's very funny. <laughs> Do you have any? <laughs> any movie by Leon Schuster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You have to understand that if you go to South Africa, you can watch one of Leon Schuster's movies and you'll understand. Yeah. He always knows the answers. Because you've got to just... Hot water pants. You know, like you get a hot water bottle. Like a, you fill it up with hot water and you go to sleep. Ah, imagine you had pants that you could fill up with hot water. Come on. <laughs> well, I think it's cool anyway. I think a time machine would be cool. We were talking about that the other day. Really. Because when we were driving around in Germany, we were looking at the forests and imagining all the Vikings running around in their furs. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day and then we were like it would be cool to be able to travel in time so he-man he-man he i wasn't allowed to watch he-man <laughs> when i was a child it was considered evil um, <laughs> maya the bee <laughs> she was cool <laughs> This is more of a serious answer now. Um, they released that movie, Amadeus Mozart, years ago. And uh, he had that joke where he, he played five notes all at once, I mean five Cs. And from that moment, I was like, this guy's amazing. What five Cs? What are you talking about? Could play he, five Cs, he had yeah. such a reach. He could play. He would go, ask like the, the, queen, the kings and queens and all the royalty you play for, how do you play five C's at once? And they would all try and figure it out. And then he would go C, 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 so four C's and then play the fifth one with his nose. <laughs> it's a really funny movie. That, that movie makes me laugh. Yeah. That's, yeah. All ball sports. Really bad. 
<laughs> Anything requiring flexibility. That's true, you can't touch his toes. Not at all. Music. Um. <laughs>